hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Idowu Mawajo and in this video i'll be showing you how to create a courier logistics website a very good one using just a script you mustn't know how to code or build website before you can do this this is a very easy um, this is a very easy script to use all you have to do is to install it follow my instructions and install it properly and you are good to go you see how good the website is all these can be changed after installing it. the pictures the text and everything down to the logo you can change all these edit them see the website website is looking very very slick and nice this is the about us page let me open it in a new tab the services also then the tracking and contact us I'll open tracking a new tab contact us a new tab all right so let's go to the about us page and this is what we've got it's looking nice and good okay and here let's go to our services these are what services entails it even has FAQ right the good thing about this script is that once you track an item it gives you the location of the parcel or package on a map and this is the contact us page so right now we're gonna track a package come here and track a package tracking number this and I hit on track All right, this is a package. This is it. This is the current location on the map, and these are the tracking details package on the way, customer Lagos. The package is still on the way, customer that is in Benin. This is Nigeria. This is the uh, package contents of the shipment. It's a laptop, all right? Then all these are the sender's details. Then these ones are the receiver's details, all right? So let's go to the admin dashboard of this uh, website. So just come here. Let me use this. Then just type in the domain name slash admin this is now admin password is now login okay this is the admin dashboard All right and this is what we just track you can also edit this you can update it by editing it you click on update okay this is pending as status then the dates you can just go ahead and edit this and change and click on update if you're done with that you come to your settings under the settings site name should be web cargo logistics yeah your site title best logistics company or number one logistics company then site URL you just copy this there you 
paste this email name should be web cargo web cargo then your email address should be this and you hit on save all these would show up when the receiver receives an email from you okay so you can also add tracking or oh, this should be support then you hit on save so we can go to profile here you can change your um, password your admin password and your email you can also add tracking all right let's do one and see sender's name i use this sender's contact i use this email address should be from Right. These are just dummy details. Sender's address. I'll just use this. Order information. Let's see in transit. There is a status of the package. Dispatch location. Let's see Las Vegas. Make sure you choose a location that would show a map, right? Then the type of um, package fragile. Then the career reference number. I will use um. You can just use uh, exf or uh, exg dash. DHL or FedEx or whatever is registered under yours. Let's say FedEx. Then the weight of the package 3 gram. Payment mode. transfer then you can choose an image of the package it's always good to use an image so that the person can see what he or she is receiving you upload then your receivers info we we'll use the dummy name also let's use Dwayne or Annabelle And about receiver's email address okay I'll just use mine so we can go and cross check receiver's contacts receiver's address these are all dummy details destination let's see uh -huh. New York package description should be one box of it could be jewelry, it could be a laptop, it could be a car. Then dispatch dates. You can do it manually or you come here and select on this day 14th then uh, estimated delivery date you can do manually or you come here and choose Saturday which is this date shipment method 
is it air land or by train using air air should be faster let me use land quantity should be one delivery time you can choose this time and this is the tracking ID it has already been created here automatically then you add okay, now it has been created successfully I can just go and track this to see what we've done let's add the tracking number which is this and it's on track now Okay, still loading so this is the current location and these are all what I feel origin area Las Vegas destination area New York then the name senders name email address let's go and confirm from my email if I would receive or if I've received a notification <laughs> okay my email here is quite wrong so I'll just edit them support so make sure yours is also correct try and double check once you're done you save so because of that little mistake I didn't receive any email but whenever I whenever I make an update on a tracking ID it's going to email automatically email the receiver and notify them about the update okay this is the one i just did and it's here on our tracking And we can also print invoice so this is the invoice email and so you can choose to print this okay tracking details will show whenever there is an update so guys let me show you how to now install this on your cPanel go to your cPanel Then you log into your cPanel. This is my cPanel, and go to your file manager. You should know that to get a cPanel, you have to get a domain name and hosting. I'll drop a link of a good hosting company in the description of this video. So you come to your public underscore html now what i want to do is to create a folder i want to in install this in a folder like a directory all right if you're buying your domain name and hosting for the sole purpose of this courier website you don't have to create a folder all right for the purpose of this tutorial i'm using a folder 
So I will just name this cargo link like this. Then I'll create new folder. So this is my folder. I'll open it to upload the file. So I'll come to upload to select file and here is my file and I open. So I'll give this time to completely upload. You know you have to wait until this bar turns green even if it's hundred percent so it needs to turn green yeah now we are done so you go back next thing to do is to extract this you right click and go to extract then you extract files and you close you reload to see your file that you've extracted which is this then I can do away with this I'll just delete delete and confirm so now this is what I want these are all what I want and they are still in a folder you see I created cargo link and what I extracted is in this easy ship all right so I want to move all these to cargo link so that my website will be like this let me show you what I mean my website will be then cargo link you see nothing will show yes it's because the website is on easy ship all right so I'll just select all and move then I'll delete easy ship so it will just enter cargo link move files all right so go up one level so now we are now in cargo link and this uh, just what I need and cargo link so let me reload this and then come here and reload this so as you can see it's already loading up cargo link yes so this is our website but we still need to do some configurations all right we still need to do some configurations and we'll do them right here what we need is this for our database and for the functions is this functions.php all right so we'll just open these once edit you click on edit to open in a new tab all right this is where we'll have to go and create a database you come to your database and click on my SQL database wizard want to create a new database to link our website to that script so here I'll just use cargo link you can name your database can be anything all right you can use ABC you can use whatever you feel you understand better so here also I would like to use cargo link you can use different things or different characters for your database and username so password generator I'll come here use their suggested password copy and take it to a safe place all right then you come here I have copied use password or you can immediately go here and paste the password it should be in between these two quotation mark all right so I'll just paste the password then it's remaining our database name and database username okay so we're still on it 
so once you're done you create user okay this is a database username I'll just copy this and come here and replace this one here okay database user was what I copied so I replace what is in between the quotation mark so I'll come back here copy the database name so the database name and the use database user are the same so just come here and paste it once you are done you just click on save changes then you go back to your mysql click up select all privileges and next step all right so we're done creating a database don't forget you have to double check this i like double checking to avoid uh, any issues okay we're good so i'll go back to my c panel so now what we'll have to do is to upload the database file so you come to php my admin you click to open this is our sql right here this folder then this is our sql you right click then you hit on download then we'll come back you locate your database which is cargo link i'll click on this to open cargo link database then once it finished loading go to your import you choose a file and this is what i just downloaded you upload it then you come to import so it's importing the file and here we have our imported sql so once you're done you just go back go back and reload this our cargo link and then for us to be able to log in as an admin to see the admin back end you see this site is a very sophisticated website all right we can edit all of these it even has a video you can link a video this is the about us page you can change all of that while this loads let's go back to our c panel okay i'll close this so next thing is the functions the php well, i did this also right click then you hit on edit okay before we jump over to functions let's come and change the admin uh, details so this is what we just did on our php my admin so you come to admin right and here we are so this is what we want to be using this is our password this is our admin login email so we can change our password here also for us to access the admin page it's going to be this our domain name slash admin so that is how to log into our admin login page all right we'll come here what is our login name which is this I'll copy I'll 
और फिर से वाय हेयर देन आप पासवर्ड कैसे इट्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स राइट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स एंड वो हिट ऑन लॉगिन राइट इट्स लोडिंग या दिस इज इट राइट हेयर So these are admin dashboard here. Then back to our functions, we we'll have to change some things here to make our website look good. You have to, all right? So this functions dot php. This will allow. Uh, this is the part that allows. You to automatically send an email to a receiver of a parcel, all right? So we're going to set up and configure this part so that whenever you create a tracking ID for someone who is to receive a package, the person will receive a notification, an email notification from the email you are going to use to set up. This place that he or she is to receive a package from your company, all right, from your shipping company or your courier company. You see, that's how cool this script is. This SMTP host is just your domain name you use. So you just come here and copy this. One, since you are not uploading yours in a directory, you just have to copy from uh, .ng from your domain name to .ng. All right, so you just copy. As seen, okay, we're done with this part. So as seen here, um, where is it again? Okay, as seen here. dot com dot ng will just replace with ours. So let's go and create our email cpanel email account. It's very easy to create. You have to make sure your website looks uh, professional. Okay, email is up. So we'll come here, create an email account. Your email account should carry your domain name and something else. It could be info at um, cargolinks dot com, info at webfire dot com. But I'll just create one here. Come here, create, and I'll use. Uh, support support at webempire.com.ng yours should be at cargolink.com or whatever your domain name is then you create your password let's say I use Let's say I use this, okay. I'll take my email support at this dot com and put it right here dot ng sorry dot com dot ng, which is support at web and Higher. So whenever email gets to a receiver, this is where the receiver would get it from, not just a Gmail, not from a Gmail, but from a company's website, right? Then that password I created, I will just put it here, right? 
then your port and SMTP securities, they are all okay, right? So when a receiver receives an email that a parcel is being sent to them, they will receive the mail from this email address, support at webempire.com.ng. And this is being done automatically once you just create once you just create a tracking ID using the receiver's email address. And again, it's not every company that uh, uses the domain name as SMTP. Like Hostinger, you have to contact them and ask for their SMTP. Then they will give it to you. Alright? So you just know if it's not working for you you have to contact your hosting company to provide you with a smtp like i said do not touch this port and smtp secure it's already done for you so we'll come to email settings and do the same thing here okay so the email we created support at work and dot com okay dot com dot ng is already there reply also what I'll just do now is copy this um paste it here you come here what should be the name this should be the name of your Korea company let's just put it as a um, web cargo all right so this means that you want this name to be the company name that will appear when they receive the message you change here to web cargo also web cargo that sounds ridiculous but all good so once you're done you just come right here and save changes and it's as simple as that this is a very very good website after changing all these all right our website is good to go okay real quick guys to change the text and um, images you go to your C panel, all right? Go to your C panel and enter your file manager and go to your public underscore HTML, locate the folder and for the about us, contact us, services, just right click and come to edit okay let's do that of the home page which is this index.html you edit okay this is my home page let's say i want to edit this smart solutions all right i'll just copy this to search for wherever it is on that index code I can do it manually and search this is welcome to our best but this this method will take time okay this method will take time so it will just do you good when if you just search control F then control V to paste and here is smart solutions let's say I don't want smart solutions I want it to be um, best option okay this will be then this will be best option I save 
all right then uh, once it's saved i'll come here let's just get our attention on smart solutions here and i'll reload and this is now best option all right then um, let's say you want to change the email and the address and number you come to there's our index okay this swift cargo you can come right here to change it which is this all right so we're looking for okay our phone number now and this i'll just copy this info at cargolink.com just come here okay change this to info at cargolink.com which is this okay as you can see the results here is saying it can be found in three places so first i will edit this one to my own which is support at webempire.com.ng right. then you get the next location which is this again you change it to you change it to support once you're done you paste once you're done you look for the next part which is this and you paste and we're done oh sorry paste it here okay once you're done you hit on save and after you've saved successfully you come to your home and reload so this should be gone yeah so just look at whatever you want to edit and change it for the image you back to your cpanel the images should be under assets double click to open and under assets you come to img short for image then these are where we can locate all our images for the logo you just replace this one here and your logo will be changed all right so guys that will be all for now if you really need this script if you feel it's going to work for you or your company you can just contact me and I'll let you know how to get this amazing script. And if you find this video very helpful, kindly like, share and comment on the video. And most importantly, hit the subscribe button.